Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the second video we've got for you today. An exciting new sponsor has joined us, the Angry Joke Join Show. Forces. This one for one that I've already owned for a year. I'm so excited we're working with them. Check it out. A word from our new sponsors. Joe! Other Joe, I know it's you. What the hell do you want? Where the hell are you? Hey, Joe, you want to play a zombie game? No! I don't want to play a zombie game, Joe! I've told you a thousand times over several years that I'm done with zombie games. I'm tired of them. What about a zombie movie? Huh. I ain't seen a zombie movie in forever, actually. And I love horror movies. Yeah! I well, do want to see a zombie yeah, movie. Yeah, let's go check out Shire. We can watch horror movies and tons of zombie movies. My favorite. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds awesome. Right now, it's 30 days free. What? Are you serious? Yep. Let's do it. There's no drawbacks. All you have to do is use code Angry Joe. My name? It's a win-win. My name unlocks 30 days for free on Shutter, where you can watch all the horror goodness. Zombie Marathon? Films like Nicolas Cage out of uh, the color in, of space and 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 all the phantasms that I made. Uh, oh. I made freaking fan films, you know, yes. when I was little. I, I remember, made, remember the fan film for <laughs> Phantasm. Okay, yeah. let's go watch some zombie movies and horror movies. All right, come on. Yeah. Continue that Halloween spirit with 61 days of Halloween. It's that time of the year. If any time you're going to get it, it's now. A lot of good stuff on yeah, there. Yeah, huge selection of content, extensive international library, range of genres, types of movies, documentaries, new stuff, old stuff. It's all great. Check it out. It's uh, free for 30 days. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we've given you a few suggestions. Uh, Again, watch Mandy. Psycho Gore Man. Uh, uh, the Dark and the Wicked is my suggestion. I think Slacks is on there. Or oh, I what? saw that one. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. Killer Slacks. Come on. Uh, and then what was your suggestion, Joe? Uh, scare Package. Scare Package. Um, yeah. So, anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much. Click the links down below. 30 days free. Check it out. All right. Into the gaming news. Uh, Elden Ring, one of the most anticipated games. Uh, delayed. Uh, <laughs> Shocker. So, yeah. To it's only to February. Um, and so there's going to be a closed network test uh, coming up pretty soon. Uh, delays. But uh, so we got a tweet from, from Software. Uh, it's pushing the game back because of the depth and strategic freedom of the game exceeded initial expectations. So it's just mm. a matter of cooking it until it is done. All All right. Right. It's fine um, by me. And it's not a massive delay by any means. It's not like it's going to miss a holiday season or anything. I think so. we're so used to delays at this point. Oh, Boy, yeah. You oh, remember back sure. in the old days, a game get delayed, fucking gamers would yeah, go. The fucking world. crazy. <laughs> but they've gotten so used to it now. And honestly, it's a good thing in order to make these games more, uh, more solid and better at release. But often we know that's not the case. So it should only enhance our rage when these things come out and enhance our uh, you know, discontent if they don't get it right the first time because they ask more time from us and then they don't utilize that time. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really worried. About Battlefield, man. I, I don't want to do a Battlefield angry rant, mm. man. I really don't. I want to be like, this game's great. But there's been rumors that that build was actually not as old as DICE says that it was. Yeah, so they said they told us three months. But, but it might uh, not it be not as be, old yeah. as that. Uh, the good news is that they're, they're, this closed network test... Uh, is going to be available. So register, go register for it. Yep. There's going to be five sessions uh, ranging from November 12th to 14th. 
Um, oh, what? So uh, this a is like the yeah, kind of. It's it's a closed session that they're going to kind of test some things on there. So if you were anxious to go take a look at it, there was also rumors of you know twenty seven seconds of gameplay <laughs> leaked and people you know no. these games have been in de- development for so long. I mean years and years and years that we talk about old versions and and, mid- and middle versions and all these other things. It's like. Who knows what when this thing came out? It could be it could be accurate. It could mm-hmm. not be. So I'm not going to judge anything based on 20 plus seconds of uh, of footage. Yeah. Mm. All right, Fable. Uh, remember that game that came out on Xbox? Oh yeah, I'd uh, like more information on that. Uh, yeah, Xbox, uh, Microsoft. I'd like to see stuff. something new. They're they're like, hey, we're excited to kick off something special tomorrow. Just give us one more day to prepare the chickens. Uh, we oh call- yeah, kill the chickens, Fable. Chicken Chaser. We call it. Uh, we call our Fable anniversary, but that name was already taken. And then they're like, no, never mind. Sorry, there's actually no Fable news. Um, Ignore all the things that we just what? Said. So, Wait, how the fuck are we going to ignore that? that? You can't just that ignore that. Back up. Fuck you. Yeah, it, it seems huh. like a Twitter what mistake. The uh, they're like, hey, we got all this stuff, and they're like, wait, don't tell anyone anything yet because it's not solidified. So, but I was kind, kind of, of excited of for a second. Yes, but I'm then, excited. I'm not excited for Fable. I want to do another uh, video on Fable, whether it's good, whether it's bad. Top 32 reasons why this Fable sucks. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Peter's still involved with this one, right? Or no, he's no, running no, other no, shit. No, I just because that's gone. what I miss. I want long this guy to be gone. like, this game will, will 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 control your your thermostat in your house, no. and it'll it'll install a bidet for you. <laughs> it's like Peter, what Whoa, the fuck bidet. are you talking about? <laughs> cool. like, oh no, do everything. You just don't get it. <laughs> it'll wash your dirty ass. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wait, what? Uh, uh, we also got some news from Nintendo, and the review. The the Nintendo fans are excited, and everyone else is like, "What?" Huh? Uh, there's a new expansion subscription, and it's going to be fifty bucks a year. Uh, the new service will add Animal Crossing DLC, Nintendo 64, and Genesis games to online multiplayer. Uh, family memberships will cost eighty dollars. So it's a new uh, why service because money. If they want money, give it to them. Now I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no thanks, I Nintendo. I'm, I'm, I'll go ahead and pass on that one. Appreciate but that. But you get though. Nintendo 64 games and Genesis games. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I don't even know if it's on there, but that's a great one for Nintendo 64. I have it for 64, so I don't. Need sure, it. we we you already have that shit. I do. Uh, <laughs> we do have you have that the? Shit do you have? Do you have? No. Stop reselling us the same games for the same price. No. Nintendo's notorious at selling it. They're like, but now you don't have to pay our exuberant prices. Now you only pay yearly subscriptions. <laughs> Star Fox 64 is going to be on there. It's financial plan. Right? Uh, nah, I'm all right. Thanks. Ocarina of Time. Appreciate oh, that. That's amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Streets of Rage 2, Guns. Star Heroes? Hmm? Mm, no, no, none of this is interesting. Didn't a You're lot of people Nintendo get upset hater. about this? Yeah, yeah, of course. Cause Why? Because they, they don't want to pay a bunch of money, and there's like, oh, just for the same it. games over and over. Yes, I mean, ultimately, it's it's a subscription service. Um, they well, just expensive need, one. They need to provide more content, right? Yes. So Xbox Game Pass exists because you get access of all sorts of shit, right? Yep. And Nintendo's like, hey, this is what we want, and we want this how much this much money. It's like, okay, well, where's the rest of the games? And like, oh, well, we don't. No, that, that's it. That's and later. Like, okay, well, no. Now they have that's said a little too steep for my blood. They said over time they will release more. So if it actually turns out to be a better deal. I have no problem with it. The Nintendo has a wonderful and a massive catalog of games that if for you know a couple bucks a month I can get access to, I'm in. So it would be like Game Pass. But they yeah. have to prove to me that it's going to be worth it. And right now, it doesn't quite look like no, it's No, I'm in the it. same boat. Uh, later on, I might check it out, see if they got anything else. But as of now, okay. too steep for not it's it, limited. It, you know, the, the, the thing is, and that I didn't understand from what you were saying, is it's a Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack subscription. Mm-hmm. The, fa- the Nintendo 64 and Genesis games shouldn't be extra. It's extra. You have to pay extra for those. And the new subscription is now only $10 less per year than both PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live Gold, the two comparable services offered on other platforms. And a key feature of those is the inclusion of additional content for subscribers for free. Each of those services gives away free games every month, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And over here with Nintendo, the value... Uh, it's not package there. is not there. It's too expensive. Now it's interesting they got Sega Genesis games on there. You know these two former rivals, right? But it's like well, no, this, not this, not even on the same tier anymore. One clearly won. Yeah, one clearly won. But, but never had uh, a Sega. 
It's just un- unnecessary, a little too expensive, and they need to uh, tone go it down. a long way yes, into tone it down, making please. it a more respectable subscription I service. I mean, honestly, if you had asked me what Nintendo was going to charge, I would have picked this amount because Nintendo always charges a ton a for their older for the family plan. Even they, they, old they, don't, games. they do not discount anything, so it, it makes sense. Now, there there is more one... More than double the price of the base Nintendo subscription without delivering much more to consumers. There's yeah. just not a lot of stuff. Up there and that expansion pack specifically anti consumer, yeah. Well, if you split it up with a lot of people, get on that family plan, uh, it's even more. No, well, the family plan, family membership's $80, and I think it's eight accounts, so it's ten dollars a year. Uh, I, I, and then oh gosh, I'm still I'm forgetting things, this is not bringing up the uh, you know, Nintendo, uh, you know, online subscription service. This is their 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 thing that is supposed to be competing with the PlayStation One and the Xbox mm-hmm. One, and this still does not have you know the friend codes, the no party chat system, the it doesn't offer the free games. We just talked about mm-hmm. that, and it's like getting more of the same content that they've offered in the past. Again, behind a price, it's too expensive. So yeah. that's yeah. why people were upset. I had to fucking understand exactly yeah. why. It's this. just you're not getting the the level. I mean, it's not super expensive when you compare it to some of the other services. You're just not getting the amount of games. No, it's too expensive for what it is. Yeah, for what because it is, the yeah. fucking thing is still shit. And then mm-hmm. you, they didn't bring like you know because Nintendo has access to all their fucking library, right? And then they want to piecemeal that shit for you, yeah. and then start talking about expansion packs. What the fuck are you talking about? It's a subscription service it should include all this shit well not well they act like emulators don't exist and that's the big thing i was gonna say that i was like i don't get in trouble right now i was like i could play those easily yeah (laughs) i don't have to spend this not that i would ever do that but i hear that people use emulators they do give the upcoming animal crossing dlc as a part of its expansion pack sort of sweetening the deal i guess it's just in the name the expansion pack but it's still uh too expensive for that very enticing yeah Sorry, Nintendo fans. I know you're you're already mad and clickety clackety. Don't just hurt Nintendo. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, like I hate it. Nintendo Japan. I don't hate Nintendo America. They make some amazing games that I play all the goddamn time. All right, on your Ubisoft, emulator? huh? On your emulator? I, what are you talking about? I would never have anything <laughs> like that. All right, Ubisoft delays new Ghost Recon Battle Royale after everyone says they hate it. I was gonna say, uh, take it. They didn't like uh, the trial run on the, over the weekend. Yeah, so they delayed. <laughs> what? Remember they had that you were the one who brought it up last time. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Uh, no, I just I brought it up, but I didn't know that there was a fucking did I forget that there was a fucking but trial I think run? It was I made no, Writers late. Republic, Joe. It's oh. not it was oh, way too okay. early yeah. for that. You're they, mixing my news stories together, ah. motherfucker. They delayed the first test of its Ghost Recon game just a few weeks after the reveal. Um they really didn't give a specific reason, but the development team is dedicated to creating the best experience possible. It's not Ghost uh, Recon, and we're tired of battle royales, I yes. think, at this point. Everybody's trying to jump in and milk the fucking thing, and this is Ubisoft's attempt to jump in and milk the fucking thing. Yeah. Uh, the, sub, the, the subreddit, YouTube, comment sections, Twitter, every single place was just filled with the disappointment and direction that were t- they were taking with the series. Like they already like, fucking did that with Hyperscape. I just remember <laughs> and they were trying to pay us to play their yeah, fucking will you play, game. We'll give you $15 to play this they game. They didn't learn their no. lesson. They're like, all right, you know what the problem was? Is Hyperscape is a new IP. Nobody knows about it. Nobody cares about it. Let's butcher a, one of the IPs that's a little more popular in our Rolodex here. What could we do? Ah, Ghost Recon. We don't know how to fucking... Treat Ghost Recon. Let's just make that a battle royale. Battle there you go, Ghost yeah. Recon. Yeah. And Tom Clancy, sure, yeah. Throw Tom Zombies. Clancy's Zombies. dead body in there. Zombie from the grave. He will rise from his grave and participate People in like the battle Zombies. royale. Right? No. Yeah. People still no. playing zombies? Yes. No. Unfortunately. All right. Well, you, Ubisoft has not said whether or not the the game will change directions, uh, but they they're delaying things to try to uh, reevaluate. This is something that Ubisoft's been doing a lot over the last year, year and a half. They had a disastrous couple launches. Breakpoint was one of them, and they said, we need to change the creative direction of some of our games going forward. And this, is, this seems to be the last of that phase where they, it's like everything felt so samey, uh-huh. and no one wanted to play their shit. I don't shit know how they're going to fix this. I think they just need to scrap it. But Come entirely? A battle royale for this? I don't no, know. Nobody wants it. They've already developed the game. Nobody they're going to release it. it. Yeah, they release it. They try to make a little anyway, bit of money. So, yeah. 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 They'll try to make a little bit of money we from it. We made $200. It, <laughs> throw it out. It'll be it'll it'll come and go as quick as Battlefield's to. Battle Royale. You yeah. remember that shit? 
Firestorm. Yeah. We played that I'm one time. It's like, I remember. hate this. I remember that. But yeah. Only because it was fire. Yeah. It's about the only yeah. Yeah. There was a ring of fire, Joe. Yes. yes. That was its uniqueness. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, we talked a little last week about EA potentially thinking about rebranding. And last week we said the only reason they would ever do this is if FIFA demanded more money. We were guessing. Uh, but we were absolutely correct in that guess because it turns oh, out uh, FIFA we actually uh, wanted to double the payment for the licensing deal. Normally, mm-hmm. FIFA asks for 500 million U.S. Holy dollars to shit. use the FIFA name every four years. They do it for the World Cup cycle. Mm-hmm. And now they want $1 billion. Uh, so well, they, they saw that money. Oh they're making. they see the money God. that they're making. <laughs> <and> they're, <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I'm laughing that at happens. you, motherfucker. <laughs> Your greedy ass just got out greedied <laughs> by people, boy. Yeah. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> FIFA, you're doing one, inadvertently, your greed is doing one good yeah. thing. And they're trying to spin it. They're trying to get oh, us we'll, we'll get involved. There. We'll get there. <laughs> uh, according to the New York Times, FIFA is seeking more than double what it currently <laughs> receives from EA Sports. Um, <laughs> so $1 billion for each four-year World Cup cycle. They had been talking about this for a while now. EA doesn't want to pay that much money because that is a massive percentage of even what they make on on these games. Now, remember, EA works really hard for the money because what they do is they (laughs) they put players in boxes. Mm -hmm. And uh, FIFA Uh. wants a huge share of that money. Of course. Uh, And so (laughs) it looks like it's not going to happen. According, EA is registering trademarks of different names. EA EA Sports FC is the one that we know about. And so since it looks like the deal's not coming through... FIFA is on the rampage in social media talking about how they don't want exclusive license deals. It's bad for games. It's Get bad the for gamers. Fuck out of here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Get so out of here. it wants to. <laughs> now they suddenly oh, yeah. wake up. Oh, you fucking money. pieces of shit. You're right. But we've been saying that all along, yeah. and then only when you're not getting your billion dollars do you fucking agree with us. Because we know that's all that matters to these companies. FIFA sees EA making multi-billion dollars off of their ultimate team modes yep. from FIFA. FIFA's like, I want one of those billion. EA says, no, yep. these are my billion. Yeah. Well, we're going to take our name. Yeah, they're going to take it away. So And they said, fuck you. Take your name because we already have. And so I was thinking, man, this will devastate EA to lose the FIFA license. No, because in the soccer world, you can have, you know, license. You know how in the NFL you want to do an NFL board game. We know because we research trying to do an NFL card game. You got to do the NFL license, which is very expensive. Then you got to go to the player association, and that can be expensive, a little less expensive than the NFL. But there's, but you get those two things secure, you're good to go. Yeah. In the soccer world, you can have so many different, you know, mini negotiations with different clubs and all these different things, which is EA already has all this shit set up. Not anymore. So in terms of, no, yes, they do. Now it's going to remain in place. And all this is really going to do is have them lose the FIFA brand. So what, what's good, well, according to FIFA, <laughs> they said that they are looking to widen the their, their specific portfolio in gaming and esports. They're excited about the future in gaming esports for football, and it's clear that it needs to be a space occupied by more than one party. They already have people that are reaching out to them. Uh, technology and mobile companies are now actively competing to be associated with FIFA, its platforms, and global tournaments. So there's going to be go for that mobile money too. That, that's that's the big thing. The so mobile as money bad as EA it. is, and EA is really bad. The the scary thing about a vacuum in that kind of space with that brand is what replaces it. And the thing that makes big dirty money that FIFA's looking for is mobile. And so we actually may see something worse for people who are huge FIFA fans where everything FIFA just becomes is a shitty, mobile, shitty yeah, mobile game yeah. where it's going to mm-hmm. be worse to play. Yeah. So. But what I was talking about is like the negotiations and, you know, because FIFA, FIFA already has uh, 
deals in place with the UEFA, which runs the Champions League, or FIFA Pro, the Players Union. So they have around 300 licensing agreements covering all aspects of the soccer game. And yeah, FIFA might be the most prominent because it's at the fucking top, but they can handle that, meaning that the FIFA game now called EA Sports FC, is going to be mostly the same, and they're not going to be very affected by it. Because that's why that's the only reason why EA wouldn't pay up. They're like, we don't need to fucking pay you, you know. Yeah, the players' uh, unions and associations are still there. The players' union, they have individual agreements with them, so they could still use the likenesses of the player. Mm -hmm. They just can't have the little FIFA logos and shit, and then maybe mm, the structures okay. of that they'll have to change into a generic. They can't use the World Cup. They yeah. can't use some of the things that are like Global FIFA. Cup. Yeah, they'll have right. to do something changing. Exactly, different. there you go. Global, Global Cup yeah. done, right? So Team he's like, cut. fuck <laughs> you. And and now, now FIFA is trying to become our, our greatest ally. Look. Uh, th this is very anti-consumer. We need to get. Uh, we were already looking at opening you up to a lot of people. To that's like, you please give us mobile. money from a lot of different directions yeah. in order to fill the gap that that EA was giving us money. But whatever. I mean, our goals temporarily align, um, like and I seconds. just wish this would happen for. NFL games. No chance. Madden. No, no chance because they're like, uh, well, Madden, the estate of Madden's like, we don't want EA's money anymore. They would never do that. And if they did, EA would be like, okay, bye. Now our game is called EA NFL Sports. Well, NFL right? itself Instead of right EA now Madden. is a shit show, and they had an update that was like 40-something <clears throat> gigs. The only thing... Oh, they had to remove John Gruden and... <laughs> yeah. So here's how it could apply to NFL where we care is if FIFA... Drops EA, they they and then they end up making even more money, right? From multiple different sources, and then they announce it in order to rub it in EA's face. And then over here, the NFL sees that. Hmm, really? Well, well, let's also drop our exclusive license and Not get money from multiple agreements, right? Because they already signed on that dotted line. But According to that interview with Roger Goodell, oh, we love EA, our relationship's great, completely ignoring all the well, low yeah. scores of the game. So yeah. I don't have much confidence that things will change on the NFL side. No. But I do think anything related to this big money, the NFL will turn their hair and look at it. Okay. No, maybe so I'm FIFA hoping will go to something. 2K, but even 2K is doing some shitty Well, I mean, the stuff. FIFA already works with Sega, football Right, even manager. if 2K got back, you know, the yeah. NFL stuff, like, we couldn't trust them no, to make one no. that would be, you know, we might get better gameplay and finally a new engine and all these other stuff, so that's temporary relief, but you would still the come BC with all of that bullshit. It would have all the bullshit in it, but it would be a satisfying game to play yeah. with, with satisfying modes. Probably. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. Um, back on to FIFA. FIFA yeah. works with a bunch of other companies. They work with Sega already for Football Manager. They have a bunch of other things already. Now, what's going to happen is FIFA has been pushing the FIFA game, mm. and they are going to stop pushing the FIFA game. Now, it's going to be – this is going to be potentially disastrous for EA. So, mm -hmm. I – why would that be disastrous for EA? I think EA already has a market hold. I think they do, but that's because FIFA, this the one of the largest global sports, like the largest global sports organization, has been helping and pushing and doing all these other things. And if FIFA is no longer making money on that entirely, they're going to push the things that they make more money on. So there, it, it's you're not just losing an ally; you're gaining an enemy, someone who's going to be actively marketing against you, against trying to gobble you, up yeah. market share. People aren't going to abandon this kind of thing. They're so used to, you know, it's the they're ready to swipe their credit card every time they want to, you know, the new the new player. Yeah, but, it, but I think the games that replace whatever you know is a, is like you said is going to be mobile garbage, yeah. and the only one that's going to be multi million dollar budgets with two hundred developers giving every aspect of the game is going to be EA's game. So that's why EA is like, I'm not really that scared. It may be long term damage, but I think mm. short term damage is going to be minimum and minor, and then long term eventually they'll get degraded unless some companies come hard already i think they're like no nah, fuck it we're coming after ea's game i'm not making mobile garbage i'm making what yeah. they want to make better. you know when it comes down to it when you're talking about what are you playing this weekend the name that you say is not ea you say i'm playing fifa this weekend true and if like that name recognition true. is so important i mean we see it in, in yeah. everything in politics everything the name recognition is everything and if 2k okay. comes in and makes the new fifa game fifa 2022 okay. or what the next, next one what is i'm gonna play fifa tw it's gonna not destroy <laughs> them 
That would be hilarious if fucking 2K yeah. comes and please. It's like, it would be funny. Here's to your billion dollars, right? And then and then it's like FIFA 23 is not EA. They're like, boop, 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 nope. wait a minute. Nope. Yeah, that's ours. Nope. That's what I want. No, not anymore. that's not you. Yeah, that's not yours. But. That's all right. All right. Could have been that, yours. That's what uh, I got on this. Oh, fucking greed in sports games. It's oh. completely ruined the spirit Monopoly's of the game, Joe. Monopoly's bad. We yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't get our che- the check Monopoly's clear. Monopoly's bad. The check hey. clear. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Fuck we don't yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah. Monopoly's bad. Yeah. Whatever. All right. Anything wow. else you want to go over? I that no that moose story just wrecked me completely. <laughs> it's so fucking crazy. It's oh, juicy. Yes, it's I, juicy. I, it I do have I do have <laughs> stuff. Um. Anyways, uh, Ash is coming to Apex Legends, a new champion. I don't know what happened to Apex Legends, man. Uh, you know, uh, DDoSers, cheaters, uh, unstable servers. Got, we just stopped playing when out. the new seer came. We stopped playing it. Well, the server started to crash all the time, and then you don't want to play a game that you know you're playing for 15 minutes, and yeah. all of a sudden you either get DDoS or the server just crashes, or you get a slideshow gunfight. I was just excited. I was like, oh man, Joe, maybe this will be the character that Joe mains and stuff. But we played it, and they it just didn't out. have the impact. Yeah. We just we got the burnt out, out I guess. Um, so the new one maybe can bring us back. It's Ash. If y'all don't know, it's kind of exciting because she's like the robot voice, the one that kind of introduced the arena mode. And so I don't know if her abilities are cool. It might, you know, get me to come back in the 11th season or whatever to play Ash to see if she's worth it. But I honestly, my interest in Apex Legends has kind of waned because of all of what you said yeah. and then all of, you know, their bullshit. This is a game that's that makes a lot of money that is somewhat popular still and, you know, they still can't get all of these issues fixed. And it's like they got one guy making skins. Yeah, they're getting a little better their with it, but it's still it's their battle pass in this game. It's the worst so it's battle like, pass. Mm, I'm I'm fucking done. And then there's no innovation. I want to see innovative things. I I want to see quads. I want to see no. sec t- six tuplets. I want to see no. crazy things in there. Yes, I no. want to see. They all said that. no. Yeah, I know. That's what they're saying to players, and I'm getting. And I'm going to say no to their game here. Exactly. We have been saying no to their game. You, you want to play Apex? No. They're like, hey, what I'm about good. Ash? I'm like, this is going to be the last fucking time. If Ash isn't fucking good, or you don't start bringing it, that that's it. The Apex is going to be yeah. done for us, especially when Battlefield fucking comes out. They better hope they get this out before Battlefield. There's potentially a new map, which is potentially exciting. If it would be a tropical island is what the rumors currently are for, for the new Escape. Yeah, but well, I don't know. It's it's rumors, and we don't know what it's gonna be. But they, with they, pits of aggro fall down, you always <laughs> you can always you can always fall off the map. <laughs> new playable legend in the eleventh season, escape. I I hate how they're calling the fucking seasons words now. It's like what the fuck is escape? It's Apex eleven season. Fine. Whatever. Um, and then in other news, finally, uh, this will affect uh, our movie review schedule and our streaming review schedule. Uh, Disney has announced that it's delaying all of its 2022 movies, slates, and mm-hmm. things. So uh, here's a full list of change. Doctor Strange. It sucks because I was really excited for Doctor Strange. I want to know what the hell's going on in there. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is was going to come out. Uh, 325 2022 it's going to go to 56 so you're delaying about 2 months uh, everything is shifting about 2 months thor love and thunder it's uh, 56 goes to 78 mm-hmm. about 2 months black panther wakanda forever previously dated 78 is going to move to 1111 so that goes into the november slot the last the sub, uh the fifth indiana film which the glass is glass skulls <laughs> which is reportedly its <laughs> final Indiana Jones is no, what they're the marketing. The third one was at. the final one. That's what they're marketing at is moving a whole fucking Shalabouf. year. It looks almost a year from 72922 to 63023. Uh, the untitled Disney live action film is, you know, based upon their properties that they just redo and do it live action. That's that there's one moving there. What ride haven't they done? Uh, Thunder Mountain. It'll be starred The Rock as Thunder Mountain. <laughs> Thunder Mountain. Yeah, he will be the mountain. <laughs> 
Uh, and then the Marvels, you know, the uh, Captain Marvel sequel with all the, the girls in it and stuff. That's moving from 2022 to February. That was going to be November. But now since Black Panther is taking that, they're moving out to yeah. 2023, uh, February. But the good thing, and then Ant-Man and the Wasps also moving uh Quite a bit from 217.23 to 7.28.23. 23. And then a few unannounced projects, four of them are being Man, moved. Man, that, well. that machine that <clears throat> Disney's got is just churning. Yeah, shit so, out. so what happens is, and they don't want to have to do this because those some of those movies are ready to go, but some of those movies in production are having delays yeah. and, and carrying over delays from the COVID. So then it makes sense for them to just shift everything over. Their spring is kind of fucked up now and it opens the door for DC. Batman was previously going to have competition. Now Batman is free. It's going to be the only thing and he could have an extended run at the theater. So mm-hmm. good news for Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good news for DC. Well, D- DC live action is just, it's a crapshoot whether it's going to be like a garbage fire or good. And so it's like, it's hard for me to get excited about some of their movies because. Yeah, they, well, we're about to maybe uh, get excited because after this, we're going to film our reactions yes. to the DC fandom. Many of you have asked for it. And then also just to update you, I am working on uh, Back for Blood Angry Review. Um, and I'll put that out hopefully this week. So. Mm hmm. Cool. That's it. Thank you all very much. It's been uh, it's been pretty crazy, and uh, <laughs> I would like, but I am happy about our new sponsor, Shutter, uh, a horror service I use all the time. Me and my girls are always watching uh, both good horror movies and bad horror movies. Yeah, watching a, bad horror movies yeah, makes expanded you expanded my bad movies. Yes, <laughs> yeah, makes you appreciate the good ones. But there's some interesting ideas, man. Yeah, and they've so, got all the classics on there. They've got all the new ones. They, it's a huge. It's, it's an absolutely massive library that they've got. So you will guarantee. I guarantee you'll find something that you like. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Check it out. Shutter. Click those links down below. There's no reason for you not to because we got to deal with them. And uh, check it out. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.